Well, it's a problem hospitals all over the country have been working to address a nursing shortage. But right now in the Bay Area, BayCare is actually coming into nearly $1 million in funding to help train and develop the nursing workforce. ABC Action News reporter Mary O'Connell has that story. Alexis DeCaro will tell you she's always been drawn to the medical field. After applying to the PCT program and working on the floor for some time, um, I was able to observe my nurses in action and I knew that that's where I wanted to be. She's currently a nursing student at SPC and works as a nurse apprentice at Meese Dunedin Hospital. I do a lot of patient care. Um, I'm kind of the eyes and ears for the nurse. The Florida Hospital Association says based on a 2021 analysis, the state faces an overall shortage of 59,000 nurses by 2035. Baycare wants to be part of the solution. Now Baycare says it received nearly $1 million in federal funds to help train more nurses and grow the nursing workforce. I spoke to Jackie Monroe, Baycare's Vice President of Nursing Systems and Resources. We believe that these uh, federal funds, once they're received, will be able to expand some of our existing programs, um, our patient care technician program, our LPN program, and registered nurse partnership programs. Baycare says the funds will be instrumental to bringing more nurses into the field, anticipating training 30 more practical nurses, 120 more PCTs, and 12 more RN first year students. The funding, we believe, will also help support the purchase of simulation equipment. Uh, that helps um, advance our students and nurses' knowledge as well as critical thinking skills when providing safe, quality patient care. DeCaro graduates in December, soon on her way to join the workforce. You have your patients that are definitely tough, but then you see at the end of the day how rewarding it is when, you know, you turn their day around. In Pinellas County, Mary O'Connell, ABC Action News. All right, let's check.